Hi, I'm Oli from Flitz. I'm here today to talk about all the products we have for the heavy duty truck industry. Now Flitz, some of you might recognize, has always been known as a paste polishing products. Anything from metal, as you see here, plastics, and fiberglass. And Flitz is used to restore all those different finishes. But many times, especially in the heavy duty truck industry, you have a lot of corrosion, salt, oxidation, etc. Especially for those of us that live up north in the wintertime, you're familiar with mag chloride. Mag chloride is a brine you put down on roads before it ever snows. It's a great product, does a phenomenal job of getting rid of the ice and everything before it, as soon as it comes down, but the problem is it's extremely corrosive. In fact, actually, uh, out west, they actually have areas where they have to cover the trees and bushes because when the trucks and things go, the this, I call mist from the mag chloride gets up in the air and kills all the trees and bushes, which surprised me why we even use it as a country, but either way, that's not my decision. So one of the things we make now at Flitz is a new product. It's called Metal Pre-Clean. Now this is all metal pre-clean. In other words, you can use this on aluminum, stainless steel, chrome. You can even use it on paint and fiberglass and things like that, especially when you're dealing with a lot of salt and corrosion. Now, the salt can be also like from salt water if you're down south, but really in a semi-truck, you have your fuel tanks, your aluminum wheels, like your Alcoa wheels like this. You have areas that really get pitted and corroded. And truly, to use a polish on there first is not the best. And the reason I say that, you need to get off the heavy oxidation, the heavy gunk from the wintertime of salt. So, the metal pre-clean is something you take and I have a smaller piece of aluminum dime plate here, sure, but it's kind of messed up here a little bit. And I have a little pail right behind my table here. I just want to show you when I spray this on how this metal pre-clean works. We're just going to spray half of it. And what it does, as it runs down here, it's actually tearing off all the corrosion, salt buildup, etc., like this. This is safe on your skin, and as I use it, it just eats all the oxidation right off. It's like this over here. Now you can see how it just kind of runs on like that. Now the only negative to this product, it works very similar to acid. Now if anybody here has a truck and you ever use acid, you know exactly what happens. As soon as the acid hits that metal, it turns white. It turns really white, really fast. That's why a lot of your semi-truck drivers, especially with your nice custom trucks, do not want to go through truck washes where they use the acid itself. This product is not an acid. This is a salt-based product. It's fantastic because it's safer. Now it's a little more expensive than acid, but a lot easier to use. Now I'm just taking plain water and rinsing this. Now as soon as I rinse it, the product stops working. So that's the only thing to the product. You definitely have to rinse it to get all the heavy oxidation off. And here I'm going to dry it with one of our wipes. And by the way, this wipe is made of a, um, it's called recyclable material from bamboo. It's kind of cool. It feels like paper, it looks like paper, but it's actually washable. It's reused, reused a couple times. You can see before and after here already on this small piece. But I'm going to do the whole thing because I want to get all the heavy oxidation off before I polish it. But let me give you an example. I'm going to spray this again on with the aluminum pre-clean. And this, again, this pre-clean can be used on stainless steel, chrome. You can use it on paint. Some people use it when they have decals and things. And they have problems with corrosion, um, hard water spots. I'll give you an example. A sprinkler system hits your brand new truck. You ever try to get those water spots off in the hard water from a sprinkler system? It's, it's impossible. You, some people actually take razor blades to it. This chemical here, the pre-clean, will take it off immediately. Now again, I put water on it. Water will neutralize it. Once I've neutralized it, I don't have any problems with the chemical reacting. But if you do not rinse this product, and I stress that again, if you do not rinse it, it will eat into the metal like an acid. So you definitely do want to rinse it. So now I've got it rinsed, dry it off here. Now this is not shiny, but it's clean. And what I'm trying to demonstrate here, you have a finish that's basically ready for polishing. Because why work harder at it than you have to? So let me put the pre-clean over here and put the water away. Now I'm gonna take the Flitz polishing paste and put this on the aluminum. If you notice, I dab it on my finger over here. Basically what I do, I smudge it around, kind of cover it up. And you can use the paste product like we have here, or we also make Flitz in liquid. Now, some people like the liquid easier just because it's a little thinner, easier to use. In fact, I'll pour some on here. You'll see it pours on almost like, um, you know, I'm sorry, it didn't open up the bottle, huh? Didn't do a good job checking it that way. Let me give you an example here. Put a little bit on top. It looks like a green milkshake. Very, very soft and creamy. But this chemical is used on something 
the polishing just like the paste. The positive of the paste is the paste is a little bit more, I call concentrated. And by concentration, I shouldn't say a liquid is bad. What I'm saying is paste is a little thicker. So if you're familiar with rouge bar, especially clay bars, that's actually um, abrasive. Now, all products, including flits, have abrasives. One question is we always get, how abrasive is flits? Well, flits actually runs between a four and 5,000 grit. And that means it does have a little bit of a, a texture to it, so it will take off the oxidation a little faster. The liquid is actually softer than that. The liquid's even finer, so it's even less aggressive. And that's why the paste, in a lot of cases, is the best when it comes to really hard, heavy corrosion. But let me tap this up here again for you. But I want to show you how both products work. Now, normally I would do this by hand. So this is a 45-year-old company. When we started selling this, we took, people would take shag carpeting and take the shag carpeting to rub it because diamond plate is very rough. It has a lot of texture to it. But the shag carpeting was a lot of work. Same thing as a rag. So, well, basically around 12 years ago, Flitz developed a buffing ball. Now, some of you might recognize a product called um, Powerball from Mothers. Mothers is one of the copy, companies that copied our concept but couldn't copy the patents. If you notice, this shaft is hex shape. Now, this is hex shape for a reason. When you put it in a tool, like an air tool or a drill, it won't slip. It's going to really grip. You're not going to spin around that way. This buffer is actually geared for 2,500 to 3,000 RPM, where most buffers of this type are made of foam. You, based on instructions, they tell you do not run over 600 RPM. This drill alone, which is a cordless, will do 1,800 RPM. So it's very, very important, especially in large area, to use speed. These buffers are designed, if you notice this Velcro here, this is designed to cover here. Basically, the cover is designed to protect the drill. When you hit, hit something, you don't scratch it. The buffer is also washable. So when a pin is in here, this pin stays in here, closes up, put right in the wash machine. Super easy to wash. You can basically wash it five, six times until it eventually falls apart. Uh, it's made of viscose felt, will not tear up, like again, like a foam. And the nice thing is they don't create heat. Um, it actually dispenses the heat the way it works. But you're going to see here on a drill, when I start using this product, I basically, I think a little room here, smoosh it around. That way I cover it up, go slow speed. Once I've spread it on here, then I give the power to it. And as I'm doing this, I put a pressure on it. It's not magic. I mean, you got to work at it. But you'll see as I work with it here, especially when I go in the other direction, what a nice luster will start popping up. Now you can go right to the edge. One thing with the buffer, because it's very fluffy, you'll see how I'm bringing it right out to again a mirror finish in the exact same manner. Now on camera over here, you can see the major difference between an area I've polished that I haven't. Now that's basically two wipes with the, with the buffer wheel. I admit when you have really old aluminum that's been there a long time, you're gonna have to do it a little more, sometimes two to three times to really get that mirror finish. But you can get a mirror finish out of aluminum, I don't care how bad it is, because you have a solid metal. It's not plated, it's a solid metal and will come right back. Now I'm gonna take this drill here and I'm gonna replace my battery here real quick and give you an example, a little more speed. That's the only bad thing about rechargeables. Yeah, the length of them doesn't last quite as long. A lot of people use quarter drills or use air tools, especially in a shop. Now, if you notice the liquid polish, I'm smooshing around, same exact principles I did with the paste. Slower speed first, and then keep buffing it. Now, once the ball gets dirty like it is right now, it's actually absorbing the oxidation, and it keeps on working for you. You notice how little bit of polish I've used, and I still get the black residue, just like this over here. And as I'm using this, it'll take the oxidation right down, again to a mirror finish. Now I go different directions, because the ball is working in between the diamond plate itself. But just look, within less than one minute, what I've done to this piece. Super easy, super fast. I'm gonna take a microfiber, do a final wipe, and voila, it's done. I mean, it's a mirror. Now that's not just for aluminum, 
You can use it, of course, on chrome and everything else. I'm going to show you a little thing, though, too. This is, again, a water bottle here. We can put a dab of water here just to show you how well this beads up. It's just like mercury on here. Now, that's why the Flitz is unique in its way. We guarantee it, guaranteed for the manufacturer, between two and three months in salt water environment. Fresh water, you know, summertime, four or five months, not a problem. But this is why the Flitz has such a great recognition. A lot of polishers will make it shiny. I'm not saying that. But Flitz has a built-in protective coating. And that protective coating is what we're actually showing on over here on the aluminum. Now, when you do this, it gives you a super projection. People always say, so how slippery is it? I said, well, on diamond plate, of course, it's not as slippery because of shapes of diamonds. But definitely, when it's polished, it does give you a, a more slickness to it. We do manufacture, for some of you always, always ask me, how do you take care of aluminum once they got it all polished? Well, normally, we just use a flitz polish and you get around two, three months out of it and you're fine. A couple years ago, we developed what we call a sealant. This is a ceramic coating sealant. Now, ceramic finishes, if you bought a new car lately, you know the first thing the dealership wants to do is sell you is a coating for your paint. Anywhere from 1200 to over two, three thousand dollars. I'm not saying the product is bad, it's a great product and it's a concentrated version, something that the dealerships have to use because it needs a certain way to put it on, you just can't put it on as a layperson. What Flitz did, we developed the way to sh dispense the sealant in a spray format like this. It looks almost like water. You spray it on and you wipe it off, it's that simple. The cool thing about ceramic coatings, chemically, it fills in all the finishes, just like a paint. You take a microfiber, you wipe it off. Now there's nothing in here that dulls the finish. That's the best part about it is, because if you ever put wax on your aluminum, and anybody here has ever tried that, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Wax actually speeds up the tarnishing compared to um, a sealant like this. This sealant is super, super slick. I mean, you can't feel like I'm feeling it. I'm gonna show you a little bit with water again, and probably, don't, you know, water is gonna beat up either way on both sides, but I just wanna give you an example, the sealant is a man-made protective coating. Wax is natural, but the thing is, when waxes get on metal, especially on bright work like this, they actually dull it, it works the opposite way. Since this is a man-made sealant, and ceramic is actually a hard finish, like almost putting glass on top of here, it gives you much longer protection. This is fantastic for fuel tanks. Any of your alcohol wheels, of course, and salt, all your stainless steel, I call cabinets and different things underneath the truck, the mud flaps, the stacks, anything you have, this probably is unbelievable protection. This is a 16 ounce bottle, which will basically do a semi truck around one and a half times. So they'll say, I hope you use it up a little faster and waste a little bit, you're gonna do one semi truck with it. But you, I'm talking the entire truck, all the paint, all the bright work, everything this bottle will cover. And uh, the protective coating is guaranteed for a minimum of six months up to a year. It's phenomenal how long this product lasts. It does take two to three days to cure. I always tell folks when you put this on a truck or an automobile or motorcycle or boat, wherever you're putting it on, put it on, try to keep the item dry where it doesn't get outside in the rain for two, three days. Now, it doesn't hurt it if it's gonna get uh, wet. It's just that it does take two to three days to cure and that's really the key behind it. But, um, so that's our sealant. I'll come back to that for some other demonstrations. But let me put this away now and we're gonna go away from the diamond plate and give you an example on some other things. Here's an alcohol wheel. Now this alcohol wheel, let me pull it out over here so the cameraman doesn't have to stretch as much. But um, aluminum, of course, will get dull. And this is basically a cut up model, basically for a trade show. And um, so I'm not saying it's really nasty like a truck wheel would be after many you know, different uses. And that's one reason why when you're normally cleaning a wheel like this, you'd use a product like aluminum pre-clean first. If you didn't use pre-clean, use an acid. Now you can use acid, it's nothing wrong with acid, but acid makes everything immediately white like this, even worse. So that's why most of the truckers don't want to do acid, but if you want to use acid, it's no problem. Acid will take all the gunk, everything off very, very quickly, just make sure you rinse it very fast. But in this case, because this wheel is not that bad, and that's one good thing about flits, when you're doing general maintenance of your truck, and you basically take pretty good care of it, it just takes a, a few dabs of the polish, because this is a concentrated rouge. Now I'm putting some on the dull area, put some on the shiny area, just to give you an example here. Again, the cool thing is the buff ball conforms to what you try and do. And I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. 
you'll see in slow motion how the ball actually works its way into the edges. In other words, it's going like this here. It takes form to what you're trying to clean. So normally, you don't have that with a regular buffer. They're flat and they're hard to get around. I give it some speed. And again, I bring it out to a mirror finish. And the ball, again, takes shape to what you're cleaning. So an Alcoa wheel like this, and again, I go slow speed first to spread it. I Means so I smooth it around here, and that gives a power to it. But you'll see, whoops, excuse me. You'll see in a couple seconds here, how great the wheel comes out. And the black residue that I'm getting is very common. One thing about the buff ball, you notice when I first started how clean it was. Well, now as I'm working it, it gets more and more dark. In other words, it's pull, pulling up more and more of that black oxide, which is fine. Eventually, this ball will get so dirty, you will not see white any longer. When it's that dirty, that's time to wash it. Then it's, it's saturated, it's picked up all the black oxide that it can, and you can bring it back out. Here I'm going to take, again, just a microfiber, just to wipe off the rest of the black residue because you're getting that residue off with the buffer like this over here, you can see it. So when I'm doing this, it'll just bring it out again to a mirror finish. Super easy, super fast, and the labor you save is phenomenal. Plus, with the buffer, it gets in all the tight areas. So now we have, in your Alcoa, like your small holes, or you have around your, where your lug nuts are, which is really hard to get into. So nice thing is, Flitz makes these buffers in different sizes. This happens to be a seven inch buffer, we make it in a 5-inch, a 3-inch, and also a 2-inch. Now, the 2-inch is a yellow color like this. They come in different colors, by the way. You get them in yellow and white and things. But the yellow one, we probably brought out here just to kind of distinguish the difference in size. And I'm going to pull this up a little speed over here and show you something. See how this little fin picks up? This fin is designed to get in really tight areas. And when it... When you go smaller with this, this ball starts at two inches, but it actually works down to one inch in size. So when you're doing holes like in your alcohol like this, you work it in here, you get right inside the hole. And you polish right in between there, and the nice thing is you're applying it and buffing it. Now there's plastic on a shaft, and that's done purposely. When you hit it, you won't scratch it. So the, the buffer is actually designed small enough to get in the nooks and crannies, especially around your lug nuts. You can go on an angle with it if you want to, or you can go straight on. That's up to you. Now the buffer like this would not fit in a hole this small. That will not do, but it will get right around that area. If you get real close here, you can see from the camera, you can probably see it, you'll see indentation around here. That's where the cap came around the wheel. As we all know, we have the caps that cover up the lug nuts, and those caps cover that much. So. Realistically, when you can polish past that little piece, you've got it all done. And that's what makes this ball so unique. So um, when you're putting this on an Alcoa wheel, um, you can do it, again, on the chrome, the aluminum. For those who have stainless steel simulators, works fantastic. Because stainless steel is just another area the polish works on just as well. Now I'm going to take it from the side over here, going to give you an example how to finish the wheel here. I don't want it all half polished. and I work around this way. Now, let me turn this around a little bit, and I'm going to show you how the ball actually works in the hole like this. Now, this ball is not meant to fit inside there, but you can see how the fabric works its way right inside. And that's why when you do a wheel like this, no matter how you do it, it still works right in between the areas for you. I do recommend, especially in a truck, if you can use air, with the air tool, it's phenomenal. You get a lot more speed, you're not gonna run out of electricity, you're gonna cover the area and finish it all up at the same time. And again, by simply taking the microfiber here, I wipe off the rest of the residue. Of course, if this is a full wheel, I'd spend a little more time doing the entire piece, but I wanna give you an example that you can do everything with the flits, your aluminum, your stainless steel, and your chrome. At the same time. And there's 
beautiful example. Again, the water hits it, watch it. Just like mercury. That's what makes it so cool. Putting this on is fantastic for protection. And you have the same exact situation where you can polish wood flitz just like we have. And afterwards, when you're all done, you dry the wheel, you take your ceramic sealant, spray it on. Again, it looks like water. You can let it sit if you want to, or do it right away, totally up to you. It doesn't have to be taken off right away, but it doesn't make any difference because the sealant is a ceramic finish, it's a man-made material, it's not natural like wax. So when you put it on and you buff it, you're gonna leave right away a protective coating on here afterwards. It prevents the air from getting to the metal. If the air cannot get to the aluminum, it holds up a lot longer, especially if you're running these type of wheels in the wintertime in your truck with a salt. I'm not saying it's gonna last forever, it will not, but you're sure gonna hold up a lot longer by doing nothing at all. It gives a great protective finish. And you can see again, just like I showed before, the water beating up all the time, no matter what you put this on. It's just a, it's a really phenomenal product. And um, I can't speak highly enough of the ceramic coatings to give you long-term protection. So we'll put this on the side over here. And then we'll start working on some other things. Now, this is not an exhaust stack on a semi, but you know the exhaust stacks get a little messed up for the heat and salt and everything else. You take a little flitz, and you can do it by hand if you choose, or use a buffer. I'm gonna to choose to do it with a buffer. It's a lot, I'm lazy, a lot easier to use. And when you're putting this on, go slow with it first, apply it, and then buff it out. Now this is the exhaust tip from a vehicle actually. This is made of stainless steel. It's a high, highly polished stainless. But look at the difference on how all this comes out like that. You see a major before and after that way. And that's why chrome, stainless, aluminum, whatever you're trying to do, it does a great job. Now, if you want to get inside of a piece like this, like if you happen to have a, a car, this buffer a little too big. But we make the same buffer in a three inch size like this, which will go right inside. So you can actually use it in the inside and clean up that way the same way. We also make this in a five inch size and we also make it a two inch size. So it gives the same, uh, different diameters. All of them are washable and they're all made of the same viscose material, it doesn't tear up on you. Now chrome like this, to finish it up, we put a little more polish on here. Now just for the grins, we'll take a little paste and we'll add a little liquid on here too, because either one works. The liquid product again, I'm sorry, I forgot I had my tag inside here, but it doesn't take a lot. You're smearing it on that way. And the liquid product and the paste are very comparable, except the paste is a little thicker, as I said, a little more heavy duty to take off oxidation, things like that. But if you're doing it by hand, the liquid can be used just as easily. And once you spread it around like I've done here, you give speed to it, you bring it out, and it comes right out. Now I'm going to take again the microfiber, wipe off the residue, and you have a finished product. So that's one thing about flits. You're not restricted to what you're trying to do and where you're trying to do it, and it always comes out great. It really does a phenomenal job. There's an idea on your chrome. So let's go a little further now and put away some of my mess over here, and we're going to start doing some other things. If you notice on the can here, it states metal, Plastic and fiberglass. Now, fiberglass, especially plastics, are always a big thing, especially with the sun. And you can see how dull a headlight this would get. Now, this is a common problem, not only in automobiles, boats, uh, trucks especially, because you're running 150,000, 200,000 miles a year. The sun alone, the salt, you know, our biggest problem on semi-trucks is really the little, um, I call it stone chips, just because you're running all the highway miles all the time. So one of the things we do and we suggest when you're taking a headlight, cleaning a headlight, is using an abrasive pad. Now we have, this pad's a 1,000 grit, we have one that's a 2,000 grit, and one that's 1,000. Now when you take a pad like this, you take a little water, and you're basically wet sanding it. What you're doing, you're taking and you're scrubbing the heck out of the plastic. Now when you put moisture on here, it makes it actually look better, because you're filling it in, but what you're really doing right now, you're scratching off the top layer 
of the headlight. And I'm doing this piece very quickly here. And as I use this lightly sandpaper, you're actually removing a very light layer of plastic. And that's what you're really truly doing. And once you've taken that light layer off, of course your pad is white like this. So what I'm doing here, I'm removing, removing the yellowing, the chalking from the sun, uh, bugs, everything else. This is probably the longest process of really properly wet sanding a headlight like this. Now since I'm doing this here for the video, I kind of cheated a little bit and did this a little more ahead of time to make sure to show you how you have to do it. But once you do it, when you get done with your headlight, it looks almost worse when you're finished sanding it than when you started. But what you've really done, removed a very light layer of plastic here. Now, once that's done, then you use the flitz polishing paste and a buffer. Now, the cool thing is I'll put this on, and as you can see, I spread it on. Now, the polish again, to reiterate, for those who have just joined us, the polish is between a four and 5,000 grit abrasive. So the paste has a, still a small amount of rouge in it, almost like a rouge bar, but thinned out, and that's why it does such a good job in plastics and paints. Now, I'm gonna take this buffer off, because it's pretty dirty, and I'm gonna put on the three inch buffer I just here. This buffer, a little, uh, not quite as fluffy, a little more stern, but same exact principle. You spread it around so it covers the area. Go slow with it first and give a speed to it. You get a little dust out of here because of the, the ball here, but you're gonna see here in a couple of seconds how I can bring out that plastic to be see-through again. If I do this on plexiglass, I can do this on acrylic, on Lexon, whatever you happen to have, it's nothing special. The ball itself will not get hot. It's always bringing in the air like an air conditioner. So for that reason, you're bringing out that plastic to a much brighter finish. Once I've done that, you can see the difference here quite a bit already, I'm sure. I take again a microfiber, wipe it up. Now, the hardest thing over here is how do I keep it from getting bad like that again? Now, again, the whole thing is the flitz is a polish. It's there to restore, it's there to bring it back. It's, it will protect to a certain degree, especially on metals, but for plastic and fiberglass it doesn't. So that's why, we, again, we come out with our, our flitz sealant. Now with a headlight restoration kit, you actually get a small bottle of sealant with it. And when you put the sealant on, you're covering it up. And then you take, again, a microfiber, and you simply wipe it off. So what that's doing now, it's coating the plastic. And you'll get at least a four to six month period out of it. It's usually a little longer, but the problem is a headlight this really gets a lot of abuse because the sun, the road grime, the salt, everything's gonna hit it all the time. But by putting this on, it keeps the plastics much cleaner for a much longer time period that way. Now, when you do these more often, you can actually get even a better luster. And one of the things I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take a little polishing paste and cover this up one more time. And I just wanna show everybody at home that I can make it look almost clear by going through it a little more. And let me do this, I'm gonna put, so I can put a little more pressure on it because again, we're trying to do this here in a studio to give everybody an idea how this works. Uh, let's see, that might not be the best. I'll keep it up like this. That way the cameraman can get it at the same time, but I'll go slow with it here first. And again, give the speed. The more I do this, the faster I do it, the better job I'm gonna do. These headlights get, to replace them, you're looking between $300 to $500 a piece. So to spend a half an hour to an hour restoring this piece is well worth it. And here I go again. To bring it out to a mirror finish. So it gives you a great before and after. And again, I'll take the microfiber, wipe off any residue. 
so you can see a little bit more how it comes out that way for you. And again, like anything else, the more you use it, the better job you do. The plastics like this is a big thing. Um, I wanted to, to do it on a truck would be so much easier because you don't have to hold it and so on, but it gives you an idea of kind of how, how the product works. Let me put this down here for a second. And we're going to start doing some other things. I have some paint samples here. Now I want to give you an example of some of the other products Flitz makes. Now, while I'm on the table here, you'll notice there's a bottle here called Stainless Steel and Chrome Cleaner. Now we sell a lot of this for appliances and different things in a home, but for trucks, we sell a lot of it for your chrome stacks, for your stainless steel boxes where you have fingerprints and oil and different things like that. This product is a true cleaner degreaser. It's not a polish, it's just to clean it. You spray it on and you wipe it off. Now what it's going to do, it's going to remove fingerprints, it'll take off oil, it'll take off grease. It's not going to polish it like the Flitz did, but you can maintain a piece of stainless steel like this very easily, very quick. Same on chrome. So this is a, a great, what I call, in-between polishing cleaner. So if you want, just want to maintain it, you want to take off some stains while you're doing it, while you're using your truck, etc., spray it on, wipe it off. It works a great job. It doesn't leave any oil film. There's no um, oil or anything in it. It's strictly cleaner, so it does a great job. So I wanted to show you that real quick to uh, maintain things in your truck. Now I'm going to start doing some of the areas here that are paint. Now this happens to be what they call a flat paint. Now flat matte is a very popular paint, especially for motorcyclists. You see a lot of bikes that are black or white. In fact, BMW and Mercedes, you can actually buy new cars with a whole flat matte finish. Looks really great, all tricked out, but don't touch it. As soon as you touch it, the, your fingerprint will show up. Any oil grease will make it shiny. And it's the last thing the person wants to do when they have a flat matte finish. They want a dull, flat look. So I'm going to show you a product that we make here at Flitz. It's a flat matte cleaner. Now this can be used to do the entire truck, the entire wheels, motorcycles, whatever you're trying to do. This is 16 ounces. It's fantastic as a cleaner. You simply spray it on and wipe it off. That's all you do. Now the flat matte cleaner is designed for one thing is to clean. It'll take off the oil, the grease, the fingerprints. Again, I will use a microfiber like this with one wipe and now let it, take, let it dry here a little bit with this cloth and just look at the major before and after. The flat mat immediately removed the oil. We put some wax on here before, we put some butter on here before just to make it all gunky. But the idea I want to show you what a great job the flat mat cleaner can do on a flat finish. They're not as popular, but anybody has flat mat, even on a refrigerator at home, you're going to hate it because people hate the fingerprints. They hate all the spots, but this makes your job super easy. Do the whole piece here real quick, spray it on, and again, wipe it off. It dries very, very quickly. The microfiber that we use, our Flitz microfibers are super thick, very, very absorbent, and I just dried here with a my paper cloth, and you can see how nice it comes out. As I blow on it, you see how it gets nice and flat. And that's exactly what people want. So that's why the flat mat cleaner is exceptional on anything on the outside area. Now, majority of the paints are not flat. You're getting back to, I call enamel, emrons, your paint finish like this. Now, the Flitz polish can be used on paint. It says it's called a paint restorer. What it's really used for on paint is to take off scuff marks, you know, from people hitting it with a shopping cart or uh, something like this, really heavy bug stains, tree sap, bird droppings, anything that gets on your paint that's a problem, that's where you use the flitz. And again, you can use flitz and paste or in liquid format. Liquid works just as easily in something like this. And when you put it on paint, I'll just put a little bit you know, on here. In fact, I gotta remember I have my cap in here. It takes, again, a very small amount, and it almost looks like a milkshake type consistency, but you can take a cloth with it. This happens to be a, one of our bamboo wipes that looks like paper, but it does an excellent job of cleaning. And what you're doing here, removing staining, gets on a paint and fiberglass. 
And it's not like a rubbing compound, so it's not abrasive-like compound, but it will take off stains with a chemical versus an abrasion. So you can use it on a clear coat finish. Again, Emron, clear coat, it, it works on all, all finish itself. But um, these products, again, the Flitz paste and the Flitz liquid is used to restore the paint, not waxing it or anything like that. It's strictly a cleaner to bring it back to life, especially when the sun has faded out and so on. So the other thing I'm going to do now on this, we had the ceramic sealant, which I showed you before, and I'm going to demonstrate finally out this. This is the, the bomb. It really is what makes it so unique. This is a ceramic coating. And a sealant, a ceramic finish like this will last six months to a year on paint finishes and fiberglass. This is made, man-made material. Flitz has designed it so you can use it in a spray bottle yourself. You don't have to be a professional like in the body shops. But in the body shops or in a car dealership or truck dealership, they'll charge thousands of dollars to put this on paint. So um, this is our, our, I call the heavy duty sealant. But a lot of people want something in between. So Flitz is also made, we call a speedy seal. Now speedy seal is basically a version of the ceramics coating, but not as concentrated. And that's done because it's used like a detail spray. Basically in between, if you want to take out fingerprints, you have a show truck or something like that, a great way to take, maintain it. But to give you an example how this works, we're going to take the sealant and put it right on top of here. And as I spray it on the vehicle or a truck, whatever it may be, again, as I said, you can let it dry or you can take it off right away. That's totally up to you. These are our Flitz microfibers, which are super, super thick. You notice one side here is like a terry cloth side. It's a little thicker. And the other side is smooth. So you can use glass, plastics, whatever you wish. These are great on windows, whatever you want. When I put this on and I put the sealant on here and I work it around the paint, I can take off the residue that's been on here. And the great part about it is, let me put a little more pressure on here because I'm trying to see here like in a stage. You can see the residue in the microfiber. Then you take it and buff it. And I got a beautiful finish on top of my paint. Now, this here, I still have a little residue left on here. I want to do it one more time. Because again, our products are great, but they're not miracle workers. And I tell everybody, when you have something that's gunked up and bad, it doesn't hurt to do it twice. The sealant is really designed really as a sealer, not as a polish. In other words, the sealer is designed to give it the protective coating, which is what we're looking for. But when you're putting on paint and fiberglass, it's easy to use. As you can see, you rub it on and rub it off, and then take a microfiber and buff it. Now I get it to a much brighter finish, and hopefully you can see it up from the angle over here, how nicely it polishes in the exact same manner with lighting over here. So there's something you can use on paint and fiberglass, whatever you choose. Again, the sealant is the bomb. It's really is, it's going to give you the longest protective finish and you see a lot of, a lot of uh, thing on YouTube and things that are all about all ceramic coatings. It's a very, very popular item. And again, the Speedy Seal, a lot less money, easy to use for detail, etc. does a great job. These products are available through a lot of your truck dealerships, like your Peterbilt, Kenworth, um, Freightliner, places that have the nice trucks. But we also sell it, of course, online, flitz.com, or you can check even with uh, other sources that way. But all the products are available. Everything's guaranteed 100% money back. If you notice on the back here in this can, it even says USDA authorization. Not that you're going to eat this product. We're not suggesting you do that. But it's a very safe product. Our products are all eco-safe. That's the main thing with Flitz. You have an eco-safe product, something that's used in different areas, not just for one item. This is a two-pound can. This will do a semi-truck, all the aluminum, all the chrome, all the bright work I can call it on a truck at least twice. So a can like this goes a long ways. We also make it a one-pound can. We even make gallon sizes. So these, all these products are available in heavy industrial use because we sell anything from tractors to earth movers when people restore and clean up old equipment that's used and you want to bring it back to life. Because let's face it, if you're selling a used truck, you don't sell a dirty one. You sell clean. So again, I want to appreciate all your time. I'm Oli from Flitz, and check us out at flitz.com. Thank you. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. Remember, Flitz it.